morning guys this is amrita and you are watching let's excel together today's session is really very important it is based on auxiliary verb auxiliary verb is also known as helping verb many students they get confused in using the auxiliary verb bahut sare students confuse ho jate hain ki do does kahan lagega is mr kahan lagana hai so guys if you are confused in auxiliary verb you won't be able to speak fluently आप कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं रहिएगा और ऑब्वियस है अगर कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं है तो फ्लुएंसी नहीं आएगा सो फॉर दैट फॉर बीइंग फ्लुएंट यू हैव टू बी कॉन्फिडेंट इन द यूज ऑफ ऑक्सिलरी वर्ब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ऑक्सिलरी वर्ब पहले हम लोग समझते हैं कि ऑक्सिलरी वर्ब होता क्या है ऑक्सिलरी वर्ब इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हेल्पिंग वर्ब इट हेल्प द सब्जेक्ट एंड द मेन वर्ब टू शो इन विच टेंस द सेंटेंस इज फ्रेंड ओके Let's take one example. He is playing. He is playing football. This is the sentence which we have taken. He is playing football. वह फुटबॉल खेल रहा है. Guys, can you tell me that in which tense this is used? This is in present tense. Very correct, you are. How did you come to know that this is in present tense? आपको कैसे पता चला कि ये present tense में है You came to know with this auxiliary verb. And where is the subject? This is the subject and this is the main verb. Okay? This is the subject, this is the main verb. It is helping the subject and the main verb to show in which tense the sentence is framed. So understood this one? So to understand this, I will give you a chart. Before that, let's see these sentences. Let's see these sentences. The first sentence is, "I have or has a car." Which one we will use? I have or I has. Confusion, right? The second one, we have or has completed our homework. What to use? Have or has. Confusion. Suzy go or goes to market every day. Which verb to use? V one or V five? This is V one and this is V five. Which one to use? The box is empty or the box are empty. They was happy or they were happy. If you know guys the correct answer, it's well and good. But if you have the confusion. remove your confusion let's discuss this chart for making you confident in auxiliary verb let's take the subject so i have formed three groups in one first group there is i the second one is he she it mean singular the third one is you we they plural now how many types of tenses are there guys before discussing this we should know there are three types of tenses present past tense future tense present means whatever is happening is present tense past tense which has passed jo ho gaya jo beet gaya that is past tense and future tense aane wala that is the thing which is going to happen okay that is future tense so let's divide this chart into three parts that is present tense present tense past tense and future tense okay now always remember guys that with auxiliary verb which you have to use is with i you are going to use am let's frame a sentence i am a teacher with i you will use do and with i you can also use have now these three auxiliary verb you will use with present tense and the subject will be i he she it name and singular just repeat this twice thrice so that it goes in your brain he she it name singular with this in present tense if you have to show you are going to use is and the second auxiliary verb which you are going to use is does the third one is has instead of have we are going to use has like he is she does he has she has you can use any it's correct now the third one is you we they and plural plural means more than one 
For th with these, if you have to show the present tense in a sentence, the auxiliary verb which we are going to use are are, do, and have. If I'm saying we have done the work, correct. But if I'm saying we has done the work, it's wrong. Now, the past tense, let's make the past tense, past tense of all these three. Am, is, the past tense will be was, was. Do and does, the past tense will be same, that will be did. Has, have, will, the past tense will be same, that will be had. Okay, now for R, the past tense will be were. It's not where, it's were. The pronunciation, just pay attention on pronunciation, that is a verb. Okay, do, the past tense will be did again. And for have, the past tense will be had. Now let's come to the future tense. For future tense with I, okay, we use shall. But in modern grammar, okay, as a model, we also use will with I. Now, with he, she, it means singular. We always use will. And with you, we, they, plural, we use will. Guys, I hope you understood this chart. Now, let's discuss these sentences once again. Now, I have a car or I has a car. I. With I, I, I told you that we are not going to use has. I ke saath. We are not having has. Has nahi hoga. Okay. Has hai. It's not there. So has is wrong. This is correct. I have a car. Okay. The second one is we have or has completed the work. With we, which auxiliary verb we have to use? Have or has? Just check. This is we. Here we have to use have. So has is wrong. We have completed our work. Susie go or goes. Guys, in this. Let me make another column for this. Here with I, we always use V1. With he, she, it name similar, we use V5. That means with V5 means what? V5 means we use with verb uh, S or ES. For example, go, the V5 will be, if V1 is go, then V5 will be goes. Do, does. Okay. So, this is the difference. So, with he, she, it, name similar, we are going to use V5 only. And with this also, V1. Always remember. So, Suzy is a name. Here, the name is here. So, we will use V5. We have to use goes. So, this is correct. This is wrong. The box is empty. The box, that means one, singular. Okay. Is empty or are empty? The auxiliary verb which you are using is is. This is correct. This is wrong. They was or were happy with they. Just check which auxiliary verb we are using. Okay, in past tense, in past tense, was and were is in past tense. We are using were. So was is wrong, were is correct. So guys, I hope you understood everything very nicely. The use of auxiliary verb and from today onwards, you are not going to commit any mistake in the use of auxiliary verb. See you in the next video very soon on a very interesting topic. Thank you and have a great day.